Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Madam Soul Food. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I will be cooking fried conch, aka conch. Yes, this conch comes from Belize. You can find it in the Bahamas as well. So today I'm going to rinse them, clean them, and show you how I prepare my conch to be fried. Um, first, I'm going to um, separate them, place them in this um, colander. I already rinsed them. I'm going to rinse them again. I soaked them already prior to rinsing. You can use lemons, you can use vinegar, you can use coarse salt if you like to clean your conch. The biggest part is removing the eyes and the, um, it's like a, a skin or a membrane that wraps around them. Conch is basically snail. It's basically snail. They look like snails when you pull them out of the uh, seashell. So as I am um, placing my conch in the colander, I'm also cracking up about three eggs and um, that's gonna be my wet batter. Then for my dry batter, I'm going to be using a um, fish beer batter mixture with fine cornmeal by Goya. Right now I'm using my fillet knife. I'm removing all the dark skin, the eyes, and um, it actually has like a, um, a membrane kind of tough little skin that goes around it. I guess it protects the snail when it's inside of the shell. So I'm gonna remove all of that because if you don't, then your conch may come out a little tough. So all the darkness, all the eyes, everything, membranes, all that stuff has to be removed. Don't be scared if you do buy this and you see a little redness on the skin of the snail, it's probably just a little coloring from the actual shell. So as I begin filleting these, I'm gonna kinda of like try to butterfly butterfly fillet it like a butterfly shrimp it's gonna be kind of difficult to do but I'm gonna try anyway um, some of them they will split like a butterfly and some will not it depends on the size of the snail so I'm just preparing everything really nice and um, it takes a little time I'm sorry I didn't get this out at 7 o'clock um, I had to update my phone and um, Right now, I'm just uh, filleting everything out really nice. I'm taking my time with this to make sure my conch is super clean. I'm getting all the uh, unnecessary things off of it, like eyeballs and stuff like that. Um, any type of bony elements that are on the back of the snail. I'm trying to get any type of bony fragments out of there. So it takes about an hour to fry conch if you wanna you know, take your time and, and do it the right way. Now also I have some extra conch on the side. I will be dropping a video doing a Caribbean conch salad. It's a very delicious salad. It'll be a lot easier to uh, do and show you as opposed to uh, this video. This video is, is basically showing you how to prepare your conch before you fry it. You don't have to use a fillet knife. You can use um, any sharp knife, but you don't want to go like with a big butcher knife or anything like that. But if you have like a sharp paring knife, that'll do the job too. But I like the fillet because there's a less chance of me cutting myself because it's so long. So I, I, I'm already on, you know, 10 trying to make sure that I'm careful. And it doesn't take as long to... Uh, fillet or remove outer skin with a fillet knife because it's super sharp. If this is your first time visiting my channel, thank you so much for clicking on. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a positive comment if you'd like. Um, I thank you so much for uh, watching my video. If you're returning, thank you again for returning, coming on back to watch another video at this channel cooking with madam soul food before my channel was called madam soul food so either way you can tell people 
If you want to share it, just punch in Madam Soul Food three words or cooking with Madam Soul Food. I will come up in the search either way. Okay. I'm also asking everyone today, please help me to get into the algorithm. It's very hard to get into the algorithm on YouTube. You know, you have your titles have to be specific and it has to be something that your viewers want to search for. So if you have an opinion, if you'd like to let me know what you search for on YouTube, please drop it in my comment box. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you search for when you're looking at food channels. I will try to make videos uh, to tailor to your likings, okay? That's no problem at all. I love, 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 love to cook. So cooking is my main thing on YouTube. I'm using Nini Eats. Cajun seasoning. She's a youtuber and a creator. She has an ASMR channel and she also um, sells Seasonings go check her out Nini eats ASMR and she also has um, She sells seasonings. So if you go to her channel, I'm pretty sure she has a link in her videos or on her about channel um, Her about section you can find her website. So go on over there. Her seasonings are delicious um, I had no problems. Her packaging is excellent. Her ceilings are excellent on her packagings. And her seasonings are fresh. I've had this seasoning for about six months now. And it still tastes delicious. Um, just a little tip. If you want to preserve your seasonings, keep them in your refrigerator. You know, especially dry seasonings and hot sauces. They should be in the refrigerator. So they don't um, weaken. They will stay strong. And seasonings are usually good for about a year if you keep them in the refrigerator. Um, also, too, um, this is my wet batter right here, as you see. And I'm going into the dry batter. That's the beer batter right there with the fine um, cornmeal. And I'm just, you know, taking my time with this. I sped it up a little bit. So it doesn't take too much time away from you because I just want to show you all the processes that I go through to make um, fried uh, conch. And this is this channel. I think I started back in uh, 2020 and um, I take a lot of uh, love and care on my channel. I work very hard and um, I usually don't make 15 minute videos that much. But because I haven't done this particular type of seafood, I decided to do a, a, I think it's like 15, 16 minutes. So I would appreciate it if you watched the entire video. I thank you so much for doing that. I will try to keep my videos short, but um, when I'm cooking something that's really, really tasty, it may take about 15 minutes, okay? So please hang in there, watch the video, leave a positive comment. Hopefully, um, this year I will be dropping um, hot sauce. Um, I really want to come out with some really nice things. I can't really say too much about it, you know, because I don't want someone to steal my ideas. But I am coming out with some hot sauce. I can say that much because anybody can make hot sauce. But I also have some other special things coming out as well for 2023. Ladder in 2023. Um so please you know hang in there i appreciate everyone's support and coming back to the channel and those who just found my channel thank you so much um, i appreciate all the views and the likes and the subscriptions uh, uh, subscribers i really do um eventually i will have a membership but you know let me know if you think that's cool or not cool I would really like to do a membership. I will hold private cooking classes if I was to do a membership. And uh, right now I'm working on a, a, a cookbook, right? So you guys can really get the feel of what I do. Uh, doing videos, it doesn't really show you the exact recipes that you need to know. I mean, you can season to your taste, your kitchen your, your way, my kitchen my way. But I am coming out with a cookbook. I'm working on a cookbook, an e-cookbook. But it's going to be very professional. It's going to look good. You're going to get your money's worth. And then eventually I'll have an eat and greet. Okay? Not a meet and greet, but an eat and greet. We'll do an eat and greet. 
and I will display my cooking talents. I'll be signing um, autographs of, you know, whatever you have, a t-shirt, uh, the book, whatever. So I have a lot of things in store. It's a lot of hard work, so I'm not dropping that many videos right now, but I will be dropping at least two videos per week beginning in June. Right now I'm working on my goals, my strategies, and my plans. So I thank you so much for bearing with me. Here are these beautiful fry conch. Okay, they've been filleted, they've been super cleaned. And um, I, I thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please share it out if you would like to. No pressure. I'm adding some more conch into this pan, right? These are going to taste even better than the first ones because this has the seasoning from the conch that was already in there. So it's always good to keep, you know, keep using the same oil, right? When you're frying, you don't have to pour it out and add more and all that kind of stuff. Use the same oil. You can put basil in your oil or anything. So here's the finishing product, y'all. That's my watermelon salad. I did a short on it. Go check it out. This is fried conch. Thank you so much for watching.